I've seen one minute of this video and let me tell you this is exactly what we needed ladies and gentlemen this is the revolution if you're tired of being called a toxic gamer if you're tired of getting unfinished games and still being called as a toxic gamer after you question because you have spent your hard-earned money this is exactly what we wanted ladies and gentlemen a movement has started let's join the cause drop a like and let's intercept this conversation because right now the call of duty influencers they're admitting that they lied to us oh, shit. yeah oh, shit. that's right ladies and gentlemen we're gonna get right into the video bumble clad the like button and let's check this out guys respect when they hit that like button subscribe but uh, the call of duty shills if we can get to the point here are finally admitting that they are lie and they Damn. shit also respect to uh doug dagnabbit here from modern war zone aka oh charlie God. intel retweeter and built the entire career off of that i'm just joking sorry i can't help myself i, I gotta i gotta Bruh. stick some venom once in a while but modern war zone here Yo, comes that out is absolutely wild that doug uh, yeah he runs modern war zone and he's probably one of the most positive uh, gamer toxic gamer now nah, he's far from toxic gamer he's basically in bed with activision that's one of those guys so the fact that he came on and said what he said you but i hear that guys check this Oh, so respect for him at least being honest, but like, you know, what month is it? I don't know, like eight months late. And it's Damn. essentially just him admitting that they, you know, they lie and that they uh, make up the facts to, uh, you know, because they don't want to tell the truth. I mean, I don't mm. know what else to say, but I'll let Doug say it. I'm going to issue an apology to everyone who's here. I'm sorry for hyping up Warzone 2. Holy. I'm sorry for huffing the copium. I'm sorry for saying that it's better than Warzone 1. I'm sorry for all of that. What was really happening was I was trying to convince myself. I knew, and almost everyone knew, from the moment we played it at COD Next, from the moment we found out about all the new mechanics and the way the game worked, we knew this shit was not going to go over well this year. Our feedback wasn't really listened to. And I'll, I'll let you know as well, uh, there were warning signs. Uh, yeah, that's why Elite Games right? them up in Call of Duty Athlete. Yeah, here's the thing. Here's the thing, guys. We got to intercept intercept this conversation real quick. Because I remember we had Nate Shot just saying... Was it Nate Shot or was it... Was, no, it was not Nate Shot. It was that dude who basically was chasing that pom-pom, right? Like, uh, what's that mofo's name? But yeah, face sensor, face sensor. Bruh. He... he we all thought, bro, like he was gonna like put a stop. He's gonna expose Nadia, the nine kitty player, strong, independent, right? But he was chasing the bomb bomb. But before he was chasing the bomb bomb, he came forward and he said that, bro, like my sources are telling me Modern Warfare 2 is utter garbage. Uh, he said that, and then a lot of people started saying that if the pro hits it, then that means that the game is gonna be good. I feel like that was a lot of copy. But we also had the NFL players. Most of them are brain damaged. Most of them you know get hit while they're playing games right no disrespect but even those dudes they were the first they are always some of the first people to play call of duty and even they didn't enjoy that i mean damn like even the brain damage players from nfl they didn't enjoy i mean that is wild bro the alpha male telling the truth dropping red pills on a daily basis because i uh, saw tim the tap man and found twitch streams from him where he started speaking the truth about it and i told you in advance that it is all looking bad and that Damn. you should not. I mean, you can look at my video catalog when it comes to Call of Duty videos. I told you not to buy the game and said that the people who have played it, uh, Doug Sensor, I made a video like months, months before there was even any gameplay when these guys had already seen and had access to it. And I showed a clip that I found of Doug Face Sensor out there who usually is super yeah. overly positive. Well, this is the best year, gonna be the greatest <laughs> Call of Duty yeah. ever. It's a meme. At it is crazy, man. Your sensor could have put a stop to the cheaters, okay? Or at least he could have maybe exposed, probably not, he could have stopped the cheaters. Cheaters are way too far, they are too ahead, they're ahead of the game, baby. But they could, he could have stopped, but he chose to chase that pom pom and Nadia basically, you know, at the end, Nadia with that W, right? She definitely said, no, I don't want it, I don't want it. Mm -mm, I'm strong, I'm independent, I don't need no man, I'm dance princess. So she pulled a massive W and made face sensor look like a clown after that one, which was definitely sad. Guys, don't don't chase that pom pom man, don't chase that pom pom. Point say yeah no this game sucks it sucks and i told you from the jump it was going to be bad but i mean unfortunately i don't have the huge channel that a lot of these people do because people don't like to hear the truth they like to live in a world Facts. of lies and cotton candy and puppies and the person who tells Facts. the truth even for those who think they want to hear the truth ends up being crucified that's i mean not that i'm jesus but uh, i'm pretty close pretty close Which we also knew made it even worse so as the content creators who were there what do we do 
Do we try to adapt? Do we try to accept adapt. it? Do we try to see if it can grow? Just adapt, bro. Just adapt. I want us. What year was this tweet? That's what, what was this tweet? This tweet was September 15th. Oh, at least he's honest. I mean, like, okay, so he said at the beginning it was great. Yeah. And it was September 15th, not a fan of Warzone. Now, now, that's the truth, right? Because around that time, a lot of uh, YouTubers were coming out and a lot of uh, Warzone 2 players, even the shills were coming out. And they were saying that, bro, like, Warzone 2, that ain't it. Like, not a fan, not a fan. I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Not a fan, not a fan. I'm not saying I'm hating, but not a fan not a fan maybe later on it will grow on us and that was copium and i understand guys like i'm not gonna blame modern warzone on hopefully it grows on us and guys surely it did grow on it did grow on us right you can see that 20 Bruh. incher right there the reason i don't blame the homie for saying hopefully it grows on us is because you know for the fact that if he didn't add that part and said that not a fan of warzone 2 it sucks he would have never been invited out. Activision would have cut his wings. He would have never been able to fly out. <laughs> right now, I feel like that he's going to be on the public enemy number one list, okay? He's going to be on the Activision hit list. I don't think he's, they're going to invite his ass out. Or maybe they're going to because, after all, he has a massive platform and he's still one of those positive dudes. I don't think he has went full-on in thoughts mode, right? Uh, he hasn't gone full-on myself either like you know as skizzlex mode even right now i'm on a hate train but guys i'm just trying to keep a buck 50 i'm not hating on the game i'm just trying to give you the facts out here he has not gone blame truth mode either so there is probably hope for him unless he starts saying the same thing over and over which is facts right the the fact of the matter here is that the truth is something that feels repetitive because if it's true you say the same shit same shiza is the is the truth guys but let's see what he says to support hopefully it grows on us and then I, I know you're all shocked to see the cod shield say this but i'd be wrong to me to say otherwise uh, you are the last person i expected to see tweet this yeah just give my facts. feedback don't think this is at all but maybe it will grow on some people wow we decided to do or do we just say fuck it and start calling shit trash instantaneously before you guys even get to play it and then get labeled as haters it was one yeah. way or the other and we chose clearly the wrong path at this point because this shit did not grow on anybody and for that Damn. i apologize to all of you but yeah, hundred percent. We knew this shit was trash. We did. I, I know. And see, here's the thing, and I've been saying this for uh, years. Well, not years. This is my first YouTube channel. But uh, people have, or anyways, this guy named Thoughts, who I'm a huge fan of. Hence, why my name is a Ghost of Eight. Yeah, I mean, Eight Thoughts was definitely better. You know, Eight Thoughts was better. But I like this Ghost of Eight guy too, man. I, I like this guy. Too. Grace called the league giving stuff up an athlete Bruh. ever has been saying this for years that these guys, when your channel is predicated upon a game being good, I mean, this this is the, this is what I'm in right now. If he knows yeah. my content is all over the place. And we're going to talk about that in future videos about how I'm dropping clips of Andrew Tate and Red Pill Talk and then some Fortnite and all hey, that. Yo, yo, I was, yo, pump the brakes, pump the brakes. I literally did that as well. I literally did that. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, shit. I was dropping like UFO videos before that, like Ghost Caught on Camera. I was doing reaction videos on that. I went, last year was all over the place as well because Call of Duty was utter disaster. Like, I didn't enjoy it and I wanted to branch out, but now I'm like, learned the hard way making new channels for it i got like four other channels right now they're slowly but surely becoming strong and independent on their own obviously there are different niches compared to gaming so it's gonna take some time but i have learned the hard way yeah don't do it on one channel so this channel is gonna be mostly call of duty gt and gaming news guys but i got other channels for andrew tate uh, red pill content we also have memes channel we also got like ufo channels that is scary x so definitely check it out guys uh, i have linked all of them on the channel page as well guys but when your channel is predicated upon a video game being good and then like it's not good and there's no content to make it's very hard to yeah. try to keep delivering that said content and with me right now like call of duty is so bad that it's almost like depressing to kick it yeah. while it's down so much like dude like every single day you can make a hate call of duty video i mean theoretically yeah. i should be super hyped on this because i personally don't really like the franchise and what it's become and i don't like the people involved in fact i find most of the people involved in the call of duty community when it comes to the you know the mainstream media type guys i find them to be mostly beta males and mm. i'm not a fan so you know i enjoy you know kicking, kicking sand in the face of these dorks at this point it's like becoming redundant at least in the past i feel like that i feel like that during the um what's this called infinite warfare era it was bad right we, we can all collectively agree that infinite warfare was 
probably the biggest downfall of Call of Duty, and we all hated like that, like crazy. Infinite Warfare Zombies was not my cup of tea, but looking back, it was pretty good. And there's a fan base of Infinite Warfare Zombies because they did certain things right. They did a lot of things better than Treyarch Zombies even, which is crazy because I love Treyarch Zombies. I'm, I'm a massive fan, but in the recent years, they even butcher zombies, which is crazy. But Infinite Warfare Zombies was something, it was its redeeming quality. But even during the Infinite Warfare multiplayer, it was not this bad. You know, it was memes to dog the game down. But right now, it's just like, it, it's, it feels bad. It feels like... It feels sad and it's truly frustrating as a Call of Duty fan, but man, it is uh, it is truly over, I, I feel like for... It's not over, I, I don't think it's over, over, Bruh. but it's over for Modern Warfare 2. When you know this is your biggest IP, biggest game, three years, three uninterrupted years, 3,000 devs, you had all the time in the world to come out with a banging ass Call of Duty game with a name like Modern Warfare 2? You, you had it all! You had it all! You ran through your juice! You went in crazy! You know, like the homie would say, balls deep, but still halfway in. Bruh. They did that! And still, people are sleeping on the game. Pe not sleeping on the game in terms of, like, the game is good and people just uh, are sleeping on it. No, 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 no. People are playing. They're not even playing. They're not even playing. But those that are playing, they're sleeping. They're sleeping because sleeping is better than playing this game right now. This is, this is beyond sad, guys. De I don't know how they're gonna be able to pull. I will still say, and this is Call of Duty Copium probably, you let me know if it's Call of Duty Copium or not, but I truly think only Treyarch can revive Call of Duty in 2024, but but I'm, ha I'm hesitant. I'm really hesitant. There's a chance. There's a lot of hope, okay? But you think that's Copium 1 if you think that's Copium 2 if you think there's a real chance that Call of Duty 2024 will be good and Trek will revive Call of Duty. Let me know your thoughts, guys. When you had Call of Duty videos, you know, there were some positives that you could offset with some negatives. So it, it was sort of like, you know, yin and yang. Now, it's just nothing negatives, but like negatives. yang. It's just like big yang smacked in your face nonstop and you're just, you know, catching a venereal disease on a regular basis. It's, 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 it becomes, <laughs> you know, almost pathetic at a certain point to keep... When when you got one of the most positive guy from the community, Doug Doug Nabit, whether you like him or not, okay, I think he's a cool dude. He's uh, he's doing him. He's playing games. He want to be positive. I cannot dog on that. If if you're watching this video and you're like, hey man, uh, Doug is a loser, this and that, nah man, he is killing it, okay. He's killing it. He's providing for his family. He's playing a game. He's uh, in, it looks like he's not enjoying, but it felt like that he was enjoying and he was positive about the game. I cannot dog on that. Obviously, you should tell the truth. And right now, I got massive respect, but my point point here is that the fact that one of the most positive dude from the community just chose this path to speak facts and he is negative i wouldn't even say negative he's just speaking the facts but let's just say negative right because yeah i never thought he would be saying that that is absolutely wild he crushing this game but anyways this is about doug here and the cod shields finally admitting to the fact that the game sucks it runs parallels with me though and like you know trying to figure out how you're going to run this content that you know you earn income from because honestly let's keep it real too here i mean like i keep it a little too real if we weren't making any money here honestly none of us none of us would be here all of us are grown adults yeah, with true. bills to pay and this is a source of income 2023 youtube Thanks. ain't 1999 youtube where people did it for fun like you know we aren't 16, 17 year olds living at home with their mom and don't have to have bills to be paid. That also- that, That's a fact. That That is a hundred percent fact and you cannot deny that. When I started YouTube, I started because I was inspired by Smosh and Freddy W, Allie, T Martin and stuff. And around that time, I wasn't making money. Uh, I, and I started that because, you know, I was, uh, I was what, like 12 years old, 13 years old, maybe even younger. Maybe somewhere around that, right? I didn't knew the concept about money. But as you get older, I'm 26 now, so obviously, you gotta do something you gotta uh, nobody's gonna wipe your ass nobody's gonna pay your bills so surely you gotta make money off that and money i always say this money is actually good money is not the root of evil some people get twisted they say that money's bad man money's bad you should not prioritize money you should prioritize to a certain degree but what i think about money is that money just exposes people if you're a good person you're gonna do good things with the money and that's gonna elevate your your yourself and you're gonna become more positive i feel like but if you're a bad person you're arrogant then money is just gonna expose that right that's the that's my viewpoint on money but let's be real every youtuber you're watching okay if they are older if they're above the age of 18 20 somewhere like that even younger but but 
around 820 something like that if you're watching a youtuber that's around 20 and they're doing youtube and they tell you that they're not doing it for the money they're wrong maybe maybe they're not doing it for the money but money is definitely uh, a factor because without money you cannot continue doing this right uh, i would say that people would still be uploading shorts and other content like that because yeah th those are like quick videos that you can throw around for quick attention quick social credits for the internet points but making these uh 20 minute long videos these hour long videos i mean damn for sure can for sure blur your uh perspective and on and your decision making on what to do and at least like i said doug dagnabby here is coming clean which is surprising because like he's one of the biggest cod shield dorks i've seen in a long time who you know damn. really 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 sucks Love the, the call of duty yeah. dog we just didn't want to accept it man I understand that people think that it's me trying to suck off Activision and this, that, and the other, but brother, my life and my career at the moment is pretty much centered around Warzone. See? I'd rather just keep doing what I started doing three years ago and enjoying it. I was scared, mm. man. I was nervous. Feel it. I knew this shit was ass. Yep. I knew it was ass. Feel I it. don't blame the guy, guys. I felt that way too, but I feel like that if you... I'm not sure for how long you guys have been around the channel, but if you saw me posting like all kind of different content and you were like, yo, why am I why am I seeing this type of content from this gaming channel, this Call of Duty channel? It's because of this, guys. Like, I want to branch out. I, I want to branch out. Call of Duty is not it, man. Like, right now, the only real and genuine hope that I have in terms of gaming is G gta 6 guys trust me when i say this i think gta 6 is either gonna be a banger or an utter disaster obviously at launch and before during and after the reveal it's gonna get crazy numbers it's gonna do well and we're gonna be hype in fact i'm looking forward to that game big time i think you are as well but if that game is a disaster then holy damn i don't think there will be any other game that can revive gaming obviously there are outliers obviously there are some good games hogwarts legacy i enjoyed that but it's one of those games that you're only gonna play once and maybe you're gonna pick that back up like two years from now five years from now you, you understand right single player games are amazing i love single player games but we're talking multiplayer here right there isn't any game out there that that is good fortnite creative 2.0 is actually looking good but it's gonna take some time and already if you have not seen that video i will pin it in the comments we got black ops 2 remake leaks going around i will pin that in the comments as well and also activision apparently they are dmca striking everybody that is trying to make call of duty content in fortnite creative 2.0 oh shit yeah they're doing that so it's activision is doing that i mean that is wild yeah. And I tried to convince myself that it wasn't ass because, believe it or not, I had a lot of fun in the honeymoon period, uh, dropping my first nukes, going on win streaks, you know, being good at the game compared to most because I had more playtime with it. My first couple YouTube videos did well. Damn. You know, everything was looking good at first until it fucking wasn't. So I said all of this live on my stream yesterday over on Kick, and I do still, you know, stand by everything I said. I am extremely sorry to my following and to my audience that. Instead of going with my gut reaction and being just straight up true to myself and not trying to convince myself that I was going to like this game or that you guys were going to like this game, but trusting my own knowledge, trusting the years that I've put into understanding the COD community, Damn. I did know from the get-go that this game was not going to go over well. And I Damn. am extremely sorry to Damn. everybody and everybody. Um, who follows me for not just being he knew from the beginning it wouldn't go good and wouldn't go well oh shit. oh shit! yeah that is wild honest with myself and not being honest with you all right see you have to be alpha about this at least in my mind when someone admits they make a mistake respect so for yeah, doug to yeah, come yeah. out and fully you know to quite a he has a large audience you know he's got thousands of thousands, maybe a couple hundred thousand followers on twitter i'm not sure but he's got you know he's got a very large audience uh, and and he comes out here and openly admits he made a mistake and is apologized this is exactly why you shouldn't trust anybody's opinion i said it a few times on my streams and i'll say it in a video here guys never trust reviews never even trust what i have to say because listen it's not about like people being uh what's this called uh not trustworthy it's just about the fact that our opinion changes we all have different tastes what i like you're probably not gonna like or maybe you're gonna like it but maybe not to the same extent as i like it vice versa right if you like something i might not like it we all have different tastes and it's okay and that's that's actually the best part about being being a human right we all have over likes and dislikes and it's okay to agree and disagree at the same time as well and opinions changes on a daily basis i enjoyed i'm gonna still say i did enjoy modern warfare 2 at launch i thought it had potential i really dead ass obviously they were not listening to the feedback and they were doing helicopters with their release 
but but modern warfare 2 genuinely had potential but lack of content them not listening to the feedback just absolutely killed this game this is just you do not see this behavior anywhere else anywhere else only happening in call of duty multi-billion dollar game franchise there is zero excuse with that guys uh you can't kick him while he's down so you know big ups to the uh to doug here from modern war zone speaking for pretty much a lot of call of duty shills to be honest it's not just him he's you know speaking uh for a lot of them yeah. and uh i mean like hey respect you guys doug. uh gta 6 i guess check out this video on the screen we got our teasers for gta 6 a dead ass from rockstar or click the video on the left we also have black ops 2 remake leaks going around hopefully it's gonna revive call of duty check these videos out guys and i will see you right there